This video is sponsored by TrueMatch. Who here likes movies? Come on, yeah! I knew I would, see? All right, let's, let's think like a film director, all right? You know, you do the little thing with the fingers, you know, framing it. Think of your screen, your PowerPoint screen, as a, uh, literally like a TV screen. This is like literally the, the, the viewpoint that everybody's seeing. It's like your, your window, right? So if you think like a film director, you can actually use filmmaking techniques from like your favorite movies. If you watch a lot of movies, you, you um, will see a lot of shots and different things that um, you, you know what it, you may not know what it's called, but you know it's like a, a film shot. So I like to work those into my presentations, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna think like a film director today. So let's start with our animated, animation brief here. So we're gonna create an introductory set of slides for our client loan shark, introducing the CTO, CMO, and CEO, okay? We're gonna find an engaging way to highlight each of the team members using animation, and we have the license to be, what? We have the license to be as creative as we want? Oh my God, we never get that. Thinking like a film director, rack focus. Now, rack focus, I didn't know what rack focus was. I, did, I, had, I was like, I know what this technique is, but I don't know what it's called. It's actually called rack focus. Um, let me show you some examples of that. Uh, James Bond. Uh, in this movie, I think it's called, uh, I think it's Spectre or whatever. I can't remember what it is, but there's like a million of these rack focus shots. It's basically where something's in focus and then it, it'll cut to something in the foreground and it'll blur out the background or do different focus links. So this is a great example here. And um, I don't know what movie this is, but it's a very interesting shot where this is, look how far away this woman is, but it's, you know, they're showing her and it goes all the way to this, this woman way down there. There's actually somebody on, uh, on set for every movie that is just in charge of focus. I forgot what their, their title is, but they literally are just in charge of doing focus. So focus puller, thank you. Focus puller. So today we're gonna to be the focus pullers, okay? All right, let's jump into it. So this is our team. We've got Josh, the CTO. He's 33, by the way. Uh, we have Pam, she's 36. And we have Dave, he's 41, yeah. Um, and these are, this is the team here. Now this is just a way to kind of show, uh, show our team. This is a cool slide, it's fine. It's, it's, everything's in focus, it looks cool. We have a nice, cool background. But let's make it a little bit more interesting. We want to introduce each person and make them kind of pop out a little bit and make them look a little bit more exciting. So we're going to use our rack focus. We're going to be the focus pullers today, right? So let's do it. We're going to do this live here. Let's see if, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> so um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to duplicate this slide again. And we're gonna, move, we're gonna make Josh the, the uh, subject first. We're gonna move Josh to the foreground like this. And we're gonna move Pam over to the side. And we're gonna just, we're gonna use up. We're using Morph heavily today. So now that everybody knows what Morph is, we're good. So we want Josh to be nice and big here because he's the focus. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make Pam and Dave a little blurry in the background. Now normally you'd have to do this in Photoshop or something like that, but we can actually do this in PowerPoint. Believe it or not, I swear it's happening. Okay, so let's, let's highlight Pam first. And we're gonna go to Format Picture, and I'm gonna to go to, nope, nope. Artistic Effects, sorry. Way down there, I never use Artistic Effects, but sometimes the best effects are something, the things that are hidden. Like, I don't know how many times you've used, used this, but it's kind of cool. See this really blurry person right here? If we click that, she's a little blurry, doesn't really look that blurry, but if you adjust the radius, you can make her look even a little bit more blurry, right? They're cl clapping for me over there, guys. That's so cool. That's, oh man, they really like me. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing for Dave. Now, obviously the farther back somebody is, the more blurry they're gonna be, so I'm gonna make Dave a little bit more blurry than Pam, just a little bit more so let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like here, just full screen. Okay, I can't tell if it looks cool or not because I'm seeing it weird over here. Okay, so um, it looks like, yeah, that's okay. So that's cool. And it, the more you stack and kind of put these people kind of in line, the more the effect works. And also the cool thing is you can, um, since we 
focused in on Josh. Let's make the background a little bit bigger as well. So something like that maybe. So we're gonna focus in. And if we go ahead and go to transitions and morph, we can kind of see, let's see what that looks like. Right, something like that, right? See how they kind of, and the more you play with it, the more, I mean, like you can infinitely play with this and do some really cool things with this. But let, you see what kind of what we're doing? We're gonna take Josh and we're gonna move him over, or we're gonna duplicate this slide slowly. And then we're gonna move Josh over. And I want Josh to be kind of in the foreground. Let's see. I want him to be in the foreground and we're, this is where we're gonna be super focus pullers, right? We're gonna make him super big and kind of move him almost over to the side like this. And we're gonna have his name fly out. Now we're gonna make Josh super blurry. You might be like, why are we gonna make him so blurry? But you'll see. So if you make him super blurry like this, now he's in the foreground, right? We wanna bring Pam into the middle, make her bigger. And we're gonna take that focus off of her, make her nice and clean, bring Pam back. And I'm not gonna, I'm, I have a finished version of this, so you can see what I'm doing here. But, and then we can make the, uh, you can do cool things with the background, you can make it larger, you can kind of move it over, you can do all kinds of things. And let's see what that does here. Let's, and we can also move Dave maybe a little bit behind like that. You can even move Josh a little bit like that. That looks kind of weird. Let's see. Eh, let's move him over a little bit more. That's a fun thing. I mean, literally, we're talking about being a film. This is like you're doing real time film design. You're like making a movie right here. So let's see what that looks like. We go from Josh to Pam. Oh, it's kind of weird, but that's, you kind of get the point. Let me show you what it looks like. The finished version looks like here. Let me unhide my slide so you can see. But the more time you spend, the better these look. So let me start with Josh. And eventually, eventually, Pam, right? And then we go to Dave. So you see what I'm saying? It's like the more you play with it, if you really play with it, adjusting that background, you're actually getting kind of almost realistic shots. And then you can have it at the end, just kind of go back out to the team. So it's just, you could have had, I could have just had, had, had headshots up or something, or just had it just like that. But we're just finding a way to make it more visually interesting. You can do, um, you can make really a really powerful thing by making the duration longer. So we can do something like this where um, I said that I think the timing was at two seconds. You can do something more dramatic. I think I said it at four. So you put in a world, <laughs> Josh CTO and Pam, she gets shorter. <laughs> and we have Dave, the CEO. So you can do something like that. It helps to have the voiceover too. I always wanted to do that voice. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.